So you've just started playing the clarinet in sixth grade and you have no idea what to do with this pile of pieces in your case, right? So I'm going to teach you really fast what to do and how to make your first sound, okay? First thing you want to do is you'll notice that there are two long pieces. Looks like that. Um, one of them is longer than the other. Find the shorter one. And you're going to notice it's the one that has one hole right there without a ring on it. So this is super important because the next hole up, this key right here, you're going to want to put your thumb on it and press it down. And the reason we do that when you hold on to this is because it is moving this little key right here. It's called the bridge key. So you want that pressed down when you put this together because you don't want that bridge key to get bent. So you take your other piece, the longer one, and you hold it so that all these extra fun pieces right here are facing that one. And you're gonna notice that there's this little flat piece right here. And that has to line up with the piece that was moving over here. So since that's kind of on the bottom, I'm gonna turn this around till it's on the bottom, kind of like that. And that, weirdly enough, makes the holes all line up. So um, you're gonna give it a twist when you put it together. And then the holes should all line up and the bridge key once you've got it, see how it's like that on top of the other one? Then you can let go and all the holes should line up. Okay, that's step one. Then you can take the bell and you can put it on the bottom and you give it a twist. And if it's not easy to put on, you should get, there's gonna be some cork grease somewhere. It looks like a little chapstick. It's not, yeah, this is just a cork grease. And you're gonna take a little bit of it and you're gonna put on the put it on the cork, right? You can either put it on your finger and just rub it on there, or you can very lightly rub it on there. Don't put too much because it'll be, make a big mess if you put too much. And then make sure you just rub it around the cork really well. And um, do that anytime the cork feels dry, okay? It makes things go together very easily. On the top, now you've got the bell, the bottom, the lower body, and the upper body. You wanna take the barrel and the part that's a little bit wider is going to go on here and get of course again give it a little twist right till it goes all the way together um that's actually where if you were going to tune your instrument you might not push it all the way down if somebody says pull out that's what they mean um but for now you'll put it all the way together because when you're new at the clarinet you play very flat so you want it pushed all the way together okay then you want to put your mouthpiece on the top now, the flat part of the mouthpiece, see, it's got the hole in it. That needs to line up with this big long key here. So you wanna actually center it as much as possible. And I'll see if I can show you it's centered. See the flat part of this goes right towards this key right here, right? That's the, the thumb key on the back. Points right up there towards that hole. And that's how you want it lined up. Okay, now, you're gonna have a ligature. Make sure it's just kind of eh, kind of loose. Doesn't need to fall apart, but um, and that goes on here next. And if you put it on upside down, it won't fit. So always make sure that the screws point to the right. All right, the screws are on the flat side. Now all that's left is the reed. So take your reed and put it in your mouth just to wet it, don't bite it. Right? Just give it a little, yeah. And then, so I can show you this as carefully as I can. Come up right close. When you put this on, you're gonna kind of slide it down so you gotta kind of bring the ligature up a little bit and put this behind the ligature. Try not to touch the tip of the reed. So when you line it up, let me see if I can show you. Yeah, there we go, if we can get it off. Of, you're gonna to wanna to bring it up till there's just the tiniest little bit of black mouthpiece showing above. And then the, the ligature kind of gets slid down. I don't know if we got it straight or not. Let me look at it for a second. 
Yes. And so once you've got the reed on there so that you just barely can see the little black edge of the mouthpiece above it, above the edge, and then you, you're going to just tighten your ligature down a little. Don't tighten it down a lot. So see how you can still see that little tiny bit above, very tiny bit. If you don't get it just right, it's going to make funny sounds or it's not going to work at all. Okay. And also make sure your ligature is down far enough that you can actually see the bottom of the cut edge on the reed, right? So let me see if I can show you another reed. Um, a reed has a cut edge. It kind of looks kind of round. This this one has a flat part too, but I'm wanting you to look at the part that's kind of round there. And that ligature needs to be below it, right? Um, once you do that and you've got the, the screws just tighten just a little bit, not, you know, you don't want anything falling apart, but certainly if you tighten it down too much, nothing's going to vibrate. So once you get that, then you can, it's kind of like you're putting your, the teeth on the, and then like, as if you were putting your teeth right here and make sure your bottom lip is rolled over your teeth, your bottom teeth like this. And then draw string your lips together, like, like once you've done that, like this, watch. Don't bite too hard. In fact, don't bite at all. You're just barely touching your teeth down. And once you do that, don't let any air squeak out, but blow pretty hard as if you're blowing to the bottom of the clarinet. I like to describe it as like if you were trying to blow bubbles in a milkshake with a straw. and you'll get a sound out of it. If it squeaks, you're biting too hard. If you're not getting any sound at all, you're biting too hard. Also, if it squeaks, you might be putting too much mouthpiece in your mouth, so take it a little bit out, okay? And once you get that, then you can start adding fingers, your thumb on the back, one finger on the front, two fingers, three fingers, and that gives you your first five notes, right? Good luck.